If you have multiple tests and you want to run your tests and have them grouped together in the test results of AppleTools Eyes, there's a helpful command called setBatch. After creating an object with AppleTools Eyes and setting your API key, you can go ahead and call setBatch. And it's expecting a batch info object. So intuitively, you would want to create a new batch info object and then specify as a string the name of the batch. So for this example, we're doing a login test where we're testing the successful and, successful and failed conditions of providing good and bad credentials. So we're just going to call this login. However, there's an issue with this. If we save this and run it, and we hop over to the dashboard, we can see that they're, both tests ran. However, there are actually two different batches here. Each test ran and was applied to a different batch. That's because the way this is set up right now is it's actually going to create a separate batch object for each test because this is running this method before each test. What we actually need to do is call set batch, but instead of creating a new instance for each test, we need to actually create a batch info object before all of our tests and then reference that object in each of our tests. So to do that, we're going to want to create a before class method that will run before this test class. And it's going to be a static method. We'll just call, we'll call it uh, run or set batch, whatever it needs to be. It doesn't matter. And then in it, we're going to call new batch info login, just like we're doing down below. And instead of just calling it, we're actually going to store it in a batch field variable, which we need to create. And it needs to be a batch info object. Then back down here in the set batch command, instead of calling new, we just want to pass in batch. Now if we run it again, and go back to our test results. We can see that there is a single batch and both tests are in it. 